What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Elder Scrolls Online. Today we are continuing on with the Gold Road expansion. We've got to continue this Paths of Chaos quest, which we did the first two sections investigating this town over here and then also this uh, cave that was over there or a little uh, tomb, I guess you could say. But now we're heading over to Ostamir to pretty much see where this goes. Uh, as always, if you guys end up enjoying it, leaving a like on the video really helps out. We'll see if we hit the 30 like goal. And for now, we're just going to make our way over there. Get this uh, storyline continued. So it's been fun getting back into this. It's, it's been a good time, I'd say. The last story that we did, helping uh, the person over at the town back there was actually kind of cool. We had to try to help save the soldiers, uh, but apparently only one of them was left. So uh, we uh, we did our best. We did our best. Still playing as my necromancer here, which uh, I created back when the High Isles expansion came out. I I did some of that for a bit, and now we're uh, I brought it back because honestly I wanted to level it up some more and. Trying to see where it goes. There you are, finally. I just want to talk. We gotta go this way. Oh God. No, <laughs> wait. We're almost there. The environment really changed right here. Looks pretty cool though. It's really cool. I would fight those things, but we're almost on our way. We're almost there for our objectives, though. As far as I remember, too, this expansion so far has been more combat heavy than, than the last one I played. It took me a while to, to get into any combat scenarios, but this one, we got to them pretty fast. All right, almost there. Still don't have any add-ons enabled or anything. Just the uh, default. I I wish that they had some sort of built-in add-on system. I mean, it's not it's really not typical at all to do it, but it would be cool if they. Uh, it, it's nice that they at least allow it compared to some other games too, like. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 has a decent amount of add-ons and mods that you can get, but technically they're completely uh, breaking the terms of service. So it is what it is though, but it's cool that they have them in here. Again, oh, I, by the way, haven't mentioned it here, but destroyed. I was provided a key to check this out, not sponsored at anything, but they did I uh, approved my request for a key, so we are checking it out thanks to Bethesda or whoever approved my key. Here we are. Rest easy, friend. Ostumir discovered. You the Baragon. I'm glad you happened by. This woman will be fine, but there's plenty more injured than what's left of the village of Ostumir. Maybe you could help me find them. The ground could shake again at any moment. We need to hurry and save whoever we can. What happened here? Greenspeaker Sorolin sent me a letter, asked me to meet her here. After I arrived, the ground rumbled like an angry timber mammoth. Whole buildings collapsed, trapping people. When the new forest appeared, it damaged the village. This may end it. New forest? Apparently, a few months back, what was once rolling hills and rich Colovian farmland was suddenly engulfed by this great forest. Look, help me rescue more Ostomir survivors. Then we can find Sorolen. I can toss you some coin for your efforts. Sure. I'll help you rescue the villagers and search for the green speaker Sorolen. Inside the village, listen for any calls for help. People could be buried under rubble or trapped inside collapsed buildings. Just watch out for the strange beasts. They appeared after the ground shook. And keep an eye out for green speaker Sorolen. Okay. Help Paragon investigate Ostomir. Yep. So that's the objective we have anyways. 
Yeah, what I asked in the last episode, but I'll ask in the beginning of this one too. If you, if you guys have any suggestions, like open. for doing Follow these quests, because what on our way here we ran past two or three quests. I don't know if the best thing is to do all of those. I mean, obviously, yes, you'll get XP and everything, but if we're following the main story i mean going directly to the objective is the best thing but i know a lot of these other yeah like looking at this here we've got map completion i don't know i just uh, it's always hard for me to decide to decide whether to do those side missions that we passed or just continue on doing the main one because i know for a while i did not have a companion and it was mainly because I didn't do a side quest. But I'm not sure what, what other people think. If it's worth doing all those all the time or, or what the case is. All right, so we need to find the villagers. This does feel great playing again though. Clear the rubble. It's so smooth being able to move around. Thank the eight. I thought that was my grave. All right, the food is about to run out. Let me see if I can equip another one. Use that. And actually, you know what? Just for the sake of it, let's go ahead and equip a crown experience for one hour. Cool. Got these guys too. Okay, got some enemies down. The rest of my objectives are around the corner. Typically, I'm not the biggest fan about requiring you to do a side mission for a main mission, but I will say these, this side mission so far and the one that I did at the end of the last episode, did technically feel like a main story mission and we got extra rewards for doing it compared to just the main quests that we're doing right now that's where i don't really mind it that much go this way i always forget about the uh the breakout and what you can dodge too right Safe now. There's Come the green speaker. Found you. Dorlan, you're alive. Baragon. Oh, who's your friend? Hello I had no there. idea the ground would shake so violently when I asked Baragon to meet me here. Nature is nothing if not unpredictable. <laughs> I also didn't expect him to bring a guest. So, who are you, friend of Baragon? Just someone who happened to happen by and decided to help him rescue survivors. Why did you invite him here? Helping people in dangerous situations sounds just like Baragon. Can't fault him for accepting help. I asked him to join me in Ostomir because I found something amazing. Miraculous, even. He needs to see it for himself. Sounds intriguing. What did you find? No, no. The only way Baragon can understand this discovery is by experiencing it himself. How about we all see it together? It's down in the alien ruins nearby. I'll show you both. It truly is remarkable. All right, let's enter the ruins then. Baragon's an old friend. He'll appreciate my discovery. I hope you do as well. The ruins are to the southeast of the village. Meet me outside the entrance when you finish helping survivors. I can't wait for Baragon to see what I found. <laughs> okay. See you there. Rescue the villagers. These creatures only exist in the Dawnwood. They look so strange. Let's see. We okay, still got two more anyways. Won't let me go. Strangling Thanks. Bind. Even the plants want to kill me. 
Yeah, no problem. All right, there's one more person that needs our help. Or can we just go inside there now? Oh, wants me to go inside here? Casta so Aria. Sister. I know, little bug. Please help me move this. No problem. Thank you. I'm never coming back here. <laughs> Sorolin wants to meet at the ruins east of here. Let's go. All right, so we got to head over to the ruins now. It's nice not starting a new character, to be honest. Because that's one thing that I always... At the last like few times that I played ESO, I couldn't decide on what to play. Now I, I still want to go back to the artist in that I created too. At some point I think that's the class name. But this is probably gonna be my main character for now at least. Besides my my sorcerer, because my sorcerer is who knows how old. That's like release character old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, examine the note. Talk to Baragon. Good. Not being chased anymore. The handwriting at the bottom of the note is definitely Sorolin's. Running into ruins alone is just like her. But I didn't expect the recollection to be here. She's heading into more danger than she realizes. The note indicates they're trying to recover a wild burn seed. I've never heard of a seed, but the Wood Elves of Vashabar use wild burn to refer to the strange blight along the edge of the new forest. Worry about that later. Let's focus on finding Greenspeaker Sorolin before she runs afoul of the recollection. All right, let's do it. The recollection consists mostly of Wood Elves, Fanatics to a cause I haven't quite pinned down yet. If there are more of them in there, we'll probably need to fight. Come on, let's head into the ruins and find Greenspeaker Sorolin. Do it. Those vines, that's the entrance to the ruins. Essendal? This looks kind of cool. Let's find Sorolin first, friend. It's so nice being able to play like Bethesda games these days and load so fast. That was always the one of the things, although I love playing Skyrim back in the day and the I love playing with the recollection. Fallout. I still remember when going inside or going outside would take a decent like minute to two minutes, maybe even three minutes sometimes. Just sitting there waiting. Waiting for the game to load the next location. Nowadays, you can load in like under 10 seconds. Probably one of the, the best things to come over time. I think we're also kind of at a point where video games just look insanely realistic uh, or are just getting even more realistic. That at this point, I think it should mainly be about getting them to run good. I would much Sorry, rather take ahead. a game that isn't what breaking all at? the boundaries of graphics it, that the runs great of our over something You're that right. just looks amazing ruins are incredible. but doesn't run great. Do you feel it? The power of the aliens pervades this place. Millennia separate us from the Heartland High Elves, but I can feel their legacy flowing through my blood. It pains me to see their glory buried in these ruins. What did you bring us down here to? What did you bring us down here to show us, Green Speaker? This was all for Baragon's benefit. You're just an unintended spectator. I brought Baragon here to remind him of his alien heritage. The recollection remembers their past. This land belonged to the Aliens, and we, Bosma, are their rightful heirs. Sounds like you admire the recollection. Not at all, but some of their beliefs match my own. All that aside, I wanted to show Baragon what I found. A new type of seed. 
It's similar to what we green speakers use to grow and shape tree villages, but different. It thrums with unique potential. The wild burn seed? Bug shells! Surprise ruined! <laughs> I wanted to show him the wild burn seed. Talk to him. Discuss the recollection, both the good points and the bad. I suppose he'll want to take the seed before the recollection does. I suggest you hurry. They're close. I'll search for the wild burn seed with Baragon. The wild burn seed grows deep in the ruins. I suggest we split up. I'll lead the recollection on a merry chase while you and Baragon find the seed. And don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet up along the way. And Baragon, remember your history. Okay. Search for the wild burn seed. Get some XP by killing these guys real quick. Nice. The one thing I always really liked about ESO and their uh, their all characters that you can create is their companion or not the champion system. I think it is. Um, the companion system is cool too, but being able to collect things across multiple characters and then also once you hit level 50, it just transfers to whatever your highest championship level is, no matter who you're playing on. I always thought it was really cool. And then you also have the ability to transfer items and make entire armor sets for your other characters and then just transfer it to them once you create a new uh a new character too oh God. i don't even know what that ability just did what is that ability Embrace the power of death, removing up to two negative effects from yourself when slotted. The costs of your abilities are reduced by three percent. Okay. Still using the flame skull right now, but I think I... Oh, I can level that one up. Ricochet skull? It's suggesting the ricochet skull. Sure. I'll take the suggested. Resistant flesh. Any of these I can do? Blood sacrifice. Destruction spell. That's kind of cool that it tells you which abilities. Requires one skill point. Yeah, I don't have any skill points at the moment to unlock any new ones. Look, green speaker Sorolin, up on the walkway. See, oh, the not me to use that. The top our heritage. They buried it all. <laughs> That's how it works, Sorolin. The new replaces the old. I thought I could convince you that we find the wild bird seed together. Steady on, shake it off. What? Sorolin, come back. Take a lot of damage sometimes. Makes me a little bit nervous, but for the most part, we're still doing fine. The other thing too is I think my companion is healing me because I equipped her with the uh, restoration staff. Now she's up on the ledge. Join me, Baragon. The recollection needs good elder. I swear this. Sometimes this game feels like it has mouse acceleration or something because you're with the recollection. I'll be looking one way and then all of a sudden it'll move the other way. Like way faster than normal. Bone tyrant increase to level 14. Stendar is with you. I can feel it. Beautiful. 
Got them all leveled up there. The feel of you up uh, in first person is very high. Oh, uh, after I get this kill, I'll uh, claim this too. Yep. Claim the next level. Also get a skill point. Nice. And advised abilities, purchased ability. Resistance, flesh, bone armor, physical resistance. Okay. Are there certain ones that allow you to do more summons? Desecrate the ground. I think I might put this on. Hold on. Stendar was with so, us in that fight. It looks like these two are good together. Ricochet skull and this. Because the skeleton leaps to you, sacrificing the fallen soul with mastering energies for 17 seconds, increasing your damage done with class abilities and damage over time by 15%. While active, your third cast of flame skull deals its damage in the area and creates a corpse near the enemy so i might end up taking away because i have two living death abilities right now oh no i only have one what's this you restore magic and stamina for each negative effect removed reduces the cost of the ability ranks up and increases the amount of negative effects removed um i'll morph that I guess never mind for right now because I am still leveling them all up. I could do that instead of this though. Consuming trap. I only really do because soul magic I think is usually pretty good. And it fills up your shards if you die. You know what? Let's switch it up. Let's do that. That way we, we'll level up Brave Lord a little bit faster now then. Because I have two free abilities equipped with it. Now, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, in this game, the way leveling up works, since you have trees, it's like the more abilities you have of one type, the faster you level it up. If I remember correctly. So since I'm using the ultimate, the... Uh, and then two standard abilities. <laughs> Gotta follow here. Oh. Lauren Marie, thank you for the follow there. Yeah, so for those of you guys that don't know, I use the same capture source as I do for my live stream. So every once in a while, if you sub or follow while I'm recording, then you get a little feature in Those the video doors. let's try there we need to find that scene. so hint hint if you're watching right now and you haven't already subbed or followed Dorling, now it's your time to me. i can't let you take that seed because i might be recording another episode i'll go after it grab the seed and follow after me whoa okay baragon what the hell Shining take spirit. the wild burn seed Got it. Okay. Catch up with Baragon. I'm coming, Baragon. Yeah, like right there it felt. Yeah, that right there. There's got to be some mouse acceleration. Because I moved to the right a little bit. And it went way further than it's supposed to. blood and displaced families aren't justice. We've been friends forever! Why won't you trust me? 
The recollection destroyed this village! Who knows what other harm the rapid growth caused? We are clearing Sandal these enemies. You know what? I'll get these guys too. While I'm here, I might as well. We went back outside. Barragon. No. This backpack. What happened? I couldn't catch her. I've known Sorolin for almost my whole life. I cared about her. Considered her a friend. Perhaps more. Why didn't I see that she had been taken in by the recollection? Maybe I could have done something. Blight, this hurts. Green Speaker Sorolin talked about justice and an inheritance. Do you know what she meant? She always claimed alien land belonged to the Wood Elves, but that was purely academic before. Sounds like the recollection promised to make it real. Could be why they wanted the Wildburn Seed. Speaking of which, did you get it? Yes, here you go. I've never seen a seed like this before. It feels wrong. The recollection's You're bang. working with Laramil, right? Mm. She needs to know what we discovered here. Meet us back in Skingrad. I have a townhouse there. Oh, and take this. You more than deserve it for helping me. Hey, no problem. Sure, my lifelong friend joined a violent cult. <laughs> but you and I actually did some real good today. We, we did. saved people in Ostamir and kept this seed away from the recollection. When you're ready, meet Laramil and me at my townhouse in Skingrad. Hi. <laughs> So that is all three locations discovered now. Whoa. <laughs> Aparazzi? Yo, they actually look awesome. What the heck? And their companion? That armor looks thick. Gans Orc. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, we gotta meet him at Baragon's townhouse. Or is that over here again? All right, we'll recall to this area. I don't think we've really gone to the town just yet. I do have some other outfits I could probably throw on my character too, but I never know what to actually use. There's so many options. I have a decent amount of collection items, I think. Nothing in there, of course. I always liked this one a lot. I used to rock that a decent amount. Privateer. Breton Hero is always kind of cool. Thief outfit. Dark seducer. We're using the Man of Marco one right now. There really are so many now, though. Oh, that's kind of cool. Actually, I like that one. Drouded armor. I always forget I have this too. But can I throw that on top of this? Like while also wearing this? Oh, you can. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
Ooh, the blood forge with this. I feel like I should get rid of the beard if I was going to do that. But well, that's kind of cool. There's other ones. Ooh, blood marks. Of that one looks sick. What the heck? Complete scions of the Enthelia Delver achievement. I would throw that on. All right, let's not get we're getting sidetracked. Sorry, that's part of it sometimes. All right, so we got to go inside here. Who's skin grad? We haven't been here yet. Forest worries me. Nothing natural ever grew that quickly. See. Those wood elves. They're Down here. They're trying to annex territory that is rightfully ours. Maybe, but the wood elves of Vashabar claim their intentions are peaceful. They're gone. I'm here. Go have a chat. Welcome to my townhouse, friends. I can't wait to hear the results of your investigations. Sure. I can't believe we found a corrupted seed at Ostamir, that the recollection somehow caused the new forest to overgrow Westweald, or that my friend Sorolin was involved. Laramil wants to talk to you, but I'd like to hear what else you've discovered. Tribune Alea and I kept recollection and Daedric forces from evading Skingrad and Rustwall Estate. An invasion launched from Rustwall Estate would have taken Skingrad completely by surprise. I'm glad that you and the Tribune were there to stop them. Me too. But the recollection working with Daedra? That's a troubling new development. Do you know Tribune, LA? By reputation. She's right there. We only just met. <laughs> I know she does troubleshooting for Count Calantius, so I figured I might run into her eventually. Okay. She apparently heard about me too. Just showed up on my doorstep. You learn anything else out there? Recollection was looking for Althea. At Eleglin, but we found her first, then she vanished. Ethelia, the Daedric Prince you and Laramil are looking Ethelia, for? Ethelia, that's... You funny. met her? Incredible! But why is the Recollection looking for her? Didn't they... Uh, never mind. I think you should talk to Laramil now. I need to consider all this. Okay. Our initial investigations are complete, Proxy. Oh, there's Let Papa Raz. Raz <laughs> again. Encountering a material confirmation of... Uh, that is, I thought it would take longer for us to find and confront Athelia in person. We determined that my suspicions about the frayed fates proved correct. Each location had a connection to Athelia. So what do these connections tell us? That the Recollection and the Miramor Daedra seek to restore Athelia to power. They cause the new forest and wildburn devastation. Huh. And Athelia wanders west Weald, starting to remember. For helping me reach these conclusions, take the Corsair's this boot. Okay, sure. Speak with Baragon. Got a skill point See for that, too. See if he has too. a thought about our next steps. Athelia's presence untethers all consequences. It makes it nearly impossible for me to perceive the threads of fate, let alone determine which threads to follow. Very well. Okay, so we need to talk to Baragon now. One second. All right, let's go in and talk to Baragon. I've been thinking about Ostamir and your investigations with Laramil and Tribune Alea. The recollection was involved each time. We need to determine what they're planning next. Maybe the Wildburn seed we found in Ostamir can help us do that. How can the Wildburn scene help us with the recollection? I'm not a green speaker or a spinner, but I know a corrupted seed when I see one. If we can trace it to its source, I think we can find the recollection. Luckily, there are experts on this sort of thing close by, in the Wood Elf town of Vashabar. Could Vashabar's Wood Elves be involved with the recollection? Bosma, who honored the green, wouldn't have anything to do with a Wildburn seed. 
but I want to show the seed we recovered to a green speaker. If they can tell us more about it, it might lead us right to the recollection. Help me, and I'll pay your way. I'll help you learn more. Here, just to be safe, you should carry the Wildburn seed. Greenspeaker Derelith and Vashavar should be able to tell us something about it. Just follow the gold road into Donwood and turn north. The gold Tribune road? Alea oh, and they I will said meet it. You there. He said it. <laughs> All right, see you there. He said the words. It's always funny when they say the name of the game or the expansion. All right, cool. So... We got one out of five. There's only five zone quests for this one, but that was kind of a unlengthy one. It it had multiple aspects for it. You gotta follow Seeds of Suspicion. Go to Vashabar. It's all the way down there. Go ahead and uh, fast travel there. Oh, let me see. There is a, assuming there's probably gonna be an area nearby or Hill Trader now. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's this thing. Mara's. Let me actually try going over here real fast, and then we'll make our way down there. I started researching one of the items I had earlier today. Nothing. I might sell some items too if I have them. There's so many quests here. It's crazy. I mean, I'm sure some of them if are. You came for crafting certification, I can assist. Are uh, simple. You come here for crafting certification? Quests are like, yeah, some of these. Struck teeth. Research, yes, I, I remember, I remember. Available. Looks like you can only research one at a time. Yeah, I wish you could research one of each thing at the time, but it is what it is. All right, um, I don't think we really need to do anything else. What the heck? It's a helmet. <laughs> all right, that's all I really wanted to do because I know I have so many items to, to use. Fast travel down here. And we can at least get this quest started. Top on this. It's nice that I... Uh, with this game... Wait, is that a... No, that's it. Yeah. The nice thing about this game is if you pop an XP bonus, it's in-game time and any food that you have is all in-game time it does not expire and it does not go away when you log out so if you i remember when i logged in for the first time on this character today um when i checked we i, I still had food active and I did not play this character since the High Isle DLC came out, or expansion. So that's always a nice thing to, uh, to notice. It always bothers me so much when, when you can't enable it. And a lot of times, like, for, for instance, like a Ubisoft game or Call of Duty. You can only enable your bonuses, XP stuff, when you're in the menu. So you can't even do it when you're in game. So you have to do it right before you get into a match if you want to take full effect or full advantage of those XP bonuses. At least in something like Battlefield, if you're in the match already, you can just pause and go into the menu and enable it right then and there. At least for like older Battlefield games, you could. That's kind of why I mentioned yeah. that because it's a small thing, but honestly, it's it's We're a very nice here. quality of, of life. Hip bones, fine. 
talk to the green speaker derelith where are they let me grab this uh way shrine over here Sound effects are great. Okay. But aren't you curious where, where it came person? from? Oh, there they are. Forests like this don't usually spring up so quickly. Why should we care what the We're done here. Agreed. We're done here. That's the second group that we found that's doing that. The heck? Wait, what? How do I get in there? What the heck? It looks like it would be a door on the other side of this, but... I have to like jump into it. Like this right here looks like it would be a door. And then it would open up and you would get inside. But I don't see any way in. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Why exactly are you implying, Colovian? I'm not implying. I'm saying it outright. This land wasn't yours to grow a forest over. That's enough. Tribune. Fine. You and the mercenary handle it. Apologies, Green Speaker. What can you tell us about the seed my friend is carrying? A Colovian soldier can't just stroll into our town and throw around accusations. If not for Berragon, he may not be part of our settlement, but his good works are known to us. Well, what is it? What did you bring to show me? Uh, well, we found the seed in Ostomir. Baragon thinks that you might be able to tell us something about it. Does he? Well, let me take a look. Hmm. This appears to be a green spring seed, but it's unlike any that I've ever worked with before. It's infused with strange energy. Hmm. What's a green spring seed? Green spring seeds are what green singers use to grow new sections of forest and shape them into enclosures and settlements. We use some to create Vashabar, but this one is corrupted. Still, something familiar. Wait, I've sensed this before. You sensed something like this before? Where? I was out exploring. Dawnwood may be a blessing, but I'm curious as to its origin. And the devastated area troubles me. I ran into wood elves with a covered cart. There was a whiff of strange magic about it. It must have been one of these seeds. Where exactly did you see this covered cart? Here, I'll mark your map. I met the Wood Elves with a covered cart in the hills east of Left Wheel. If you find more of these corrupted seeds, burn them. And don't worry, I'll destroy the one you gave me after I finish examining it. Okay, sounds like a plan. Talk to Baragon. Now that she mentioned it, I've heard of Green Spring Seeds. If the Recollection was able to corrupt the sacred seeds of the green with Daedric magic, that's unthinkable. Before we go look for that cart, we should talk to King Nantharian first. Why do you want to talk to King Nantharian? King Nantharian's an interesting person. Charismatic, a visionary. He saw an opportunity and rallied Wood Elves to follow him and start this settlement. As I understand it, he leans toward the Dawnway more than the Green. We need to warn him. Warn him about what? That his followers are in danger. While drawing Wood Elves away from the Green is next to impossible, Green Speaker Sorolan notwithstanding, the followers of the Dawnway are ripe to be recruited by the Recollection. The King needs to know. All right, let's warn the King when we go find the cart Green Speaker told us about. Talk to the king. Go to King Natharian's residence. 
Okay. Well, we are actually going to end the video here. If you guys end up enjoying it, leaving a like really helps out a whole lot. The next episode, we will be going to meet the king. So uh, the more likes we get, the more I will put out another episode or the sooner I will do it. So for now, thank you for watching. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.